With a drone, we all want to spend our time having fun and shooting sensational footage and photos in beautiful locations. But from time to time there are some less exciting tasks that need to be done. In this video I will show how to do all the different calibrations needed with the Mini 3 and 3 Pro and I will explain their purpose. The good news is that with these lightweight models Calibration are very rarely required. I remember with previous model of the DJI line, calibrating the compass was required almost for every flight. And aircraft from time to time has some very erratic behavior in flight, requiring an IMU calibration. With the Mini 3 Pro, in over one year, I have hardly ever been asked for a calibration. By far the most delicate one is the calibration of the IMU. IMU stands for Inertia Movement Unit. It utilizes several components of the aircraft, like the gyroscope, the barometer and the accelerometer, to keep the drone flying in a smooth, stable, balanced way. I'm not going too deep here in technical detail, so let's see on which occasions we need to calibrate the IMU. I do it only on two situations, when I receive a prompt on the screen to calibrate it, or when the drone has an unexpected flight behavior. If the aircraft cannot fly in a straight line, doesn't maintain the altitude, drifts while hovering, or doesn't respond properly to the stick of the remote control, the first thing to do is calibrate the IMU. Other occasions when the calibration is suggested is after traveling a long distance, after big elevation changes, like for a trip to the mountains, or when the temperature is drastically different from usual. Let's see how to do the calibration. First of all, we choose an area far from metal and free from interference. In the case of the IMU, we need a horizontal level and perfectly fat surface. Make sure to have a decent amount of battery time, both in the drone and in a remote control. In DJI Fly App, we tap on the three dots at the top right of the screen to access the settings. We select the safety tab, the first one to the left. We scroll down until we find the IMU normal and hit calibrate. We are presented with a screen that guides us to the steps needed for the calibration. We are asked to position the drone in five different poses, with the wings of the aircraft folded. We start by positioning it laterally, with the camera facing to the left. We can then hit the start button at the bottom of the screen. The calibration starts in this position, which is the first one of the five required. To the right of the screen, a ring shows the progress of the first step. The second position is sitting on the left side of the aircraft, with the power switch facing us and the camera to the left. Then we put the drone belly up, with the camera facing to the right. The next one is with the aircraft on its right side, with the camera facing to the right. Then the drone standing on the back, showing us the right side. Finally, we place the Mini 3 in the first position and the aircraft will restart. Basically, it is a bit like doing yoga positions. I've made a quick video to better show the different positions. It should help to get them correctly. You can watch it now. The purpose of the compass is to compute the position of the drone and of the home point. It is particularly important in the case of a return to home. We calibrate it only when prompted by the app. The procedure is extremely simple. Again, we go to the tab safety of the settings, and just above the item for the calibration of the IMU, we find the one for the compass. 
Again, we make sure to be far from metal and object with an electrical charge. The aircraft must be kept at a height of about 1.5 meters from the ground, about 5 feet, which for most people is at shoulder height. After hitting the start button, simply follow the instruction on the screen. First, rotate the drone 360 degrees in a horizontal position, then turn it to a vertical position and do the same. Unlike the IMU and the compass, the gimbal calibration doesn't impact the flight behavior, but acts upon the alignment of the camera. Anytime it is switched on, the Mini 3 operates a sort of basic calibration of the gimbal. The reason why we want to proceed to a gimbal calibration is in most cases when the horizon is uneven, often after a small crash or a hard landing. In the settings, we go to the control tab and scroll down until we find gimbal calibration. There is a choice between auto and manual. Let's start with the auto calibration. We place the drone on a level surface, this time with open wings. Immediately after hitting the auto bottom, the calibration starts. The camera moves horizontally and then vertically for a few seconds and the trick is done. For the manual calibration, we hit the link below auto and we are presented with two values that we can modify. The first one is the rotation of the camera, the second the horizontal alignment. The remote controller contains a compass to detect its position, similar to the one of the drone. On some rare occasion, we may be prompted to calibrate the controller itself by a message on the left part of the screen, of the RC controller. The procedure for calibration is extremely simple and is explained on screen. It is very similar to the one for the compass of the drone by simply rotating the controller horizontally and then vertically. With the RC controller with a built-in screen, it is possible to summon the compass calibration of the controller. In order to do that, we scroll down twice on the screen with a finger to reach the menu window. Then we hit the gear icon at the top right and we choose compass calibration. Click on this link to watch my video Mini 3 Pro for beginners for everything you need to know about this excellent drone. And don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video interesting. Thank you.